The next thing I'm going to do is create a style sheet, a, sorry, a child theme. And when I do that, the easiest way to do it is by use of a plugin. Now, by now you've read about child themes and plugins, so you know how much time can be saved by using these packets of software that have already been written for you. So I'm just going to do a search for a child theme. And actually, one of the most popular that comes up is this particular one. So I'm going to install this directly from the remote website. It's already been approved to appear in the WordPress list of plugins, and I'm going to activate that plugin. So it's now going to be functioning on my website. I can see it's here within my plugins listing library. And if I want to use it, I then go down to tools and I can see it's been added to the library here. So I click on that. I'm going to create a child theme of 2020 as is required by my assignment details. And it gives me an analysis of the 2020 website. At this point, I can choose to give my child theme a new name and I'm going to do that just to make it stand out as being separate from that 2020 theme. I'm also going to select that new styles be put onto a separate style sheet. And we may learn later why this is an advantage. I scroll down, I can actually add attributes and I can make myself the author of this child theme. Uh, my website is actually different, perhaps. And this is a general description of the child theme I've created. The tags that I put in are going to be I might add other tags later. Okay, and I'm going to run the configurator. It should be all set up now. So if I look under appearances and themes, I should be able to find my new theme in here somewhere. There's the 2020 child. I can activate that. And there it is my child theme has been activated.